everyone, Lane here from Makers Lane. Today I'm here with my wife and we're going on a cruise. So our friends are actually the ones who told us about this cruise. We booked it through MSC. They're fairly new to the American market. They're big in the UK, but they've just actually broke into the, to the American market. So one of the things that we were really excited about this cruise is we actually booked a higher experience. It's actually called the Yacht Club, and it's, it's one of the highest tiers of experience that MSC has. What that gets you is a lot of different amenities. You get special boarding, you get to be on the front of the ship, you get special lounges, just all kinds of just exclusive things that you only get. Even though all kinds of people are on the, the ship, only you get these specific things. By far one of the coolest things, the thing I was most excited about for the Yacht Club was something called butler service, which basically is what, what, you, I mean, what it sounds like. It's you get your own butler. So there's a lot of other videos out there about cruises and like what to expect on a cruise. This really isn't like an overarching theme of what a cruise is about. You already know, you go out to sea, you dock somewhere, you get a bunch of things when you go on excursions, blah, blah, blah. That's not really what this is gonna be about. It'll be a little bit about it because MSC does have their own private island. So you'll kind of, I'll kind of show you some of that stuff. But mainly, I'm, I'm gonna show you the yacht club experience, which to me is something that, it's kind of, it's kind of a very unique feature that they actually have. So we went ahead and just documented what we what we experienced and hopefully it's helpful for you guys to choose whether or not to book through MSE. So this whole trip was only a three day experience. Some of the things that we enjoyed about it were the fact that there weren't a whole lot of people on the ship. Kind of like an example is we were told there's 1100 people on the ship currently and there are a roughly 100 yacht club members and yacht club is completely separate from the rest of the ship. So that kind of gives you an idea. There's about 900 or 1000 passengers that are not part of yacht club. So Yacht Club has its own completely private area and is basically, you don't really feel like you're on top of each other. You feel like you have a lot of space. You're not fighting to get in the pool. You're not fighting to get a table. It's a really unique private experience, unlike anything we've experienced on a cruise before. So the ship we're on is called the... Davina. Davina, which is actually one of their older ships. It was like refurbished, I think they said, back in 2012. So it's not like 
the biggest ship they have. It's it's very nice. Like as far as like the cruise ships we've been on, like they seem to take care of it really well. Our room's fairly big, like you saw. We're in what they call a Grand Deluxe Suite. For Yacht Club, we've talked about you get the butler service that you guys have seen. You also get access to a specific Yacht Club restaurant. So it's called La Muse. And all of the meals there during your stay on the Divina, your, all your meals there are included and are free. You also get access to a premier liquor package. So you get the higher shelf liquor. I think anything up to 15 or 16 dollars is included you can book dinners at some of the other restaurants on the cruise ship that are outside of yacht club however those you do have to pay for but the dinners and the the meals the lunches the dinners that we've experienced at the yacht club restaurant have been wonderful so far our favorite place would have to be the lounge probably spent the most time there just because it's it's a beautiful view it's very quiet like it's just a lot of like we're here with friends so like we can we can hang out with them and talk and have a conversation um, not a whole lot of kids running around uh, it's just kind of private and the food's really good there they have their own kind of snack it? area yeah it's like a snack area like they have all the food from like the restaurant which is in the back of the ship but you can like order it all at at the the lounge so yeah like i said we're in the front of the ship the front of the ship has the lounge. We got our own private pool, which it's not huge, but it's, it's a good sized pool. And it's very private, so yeah. the size doesn't even seem to matter on our trip because there nope. has literally been zero people. <laughs> Nobody in has it. been in it like the entire, the entire time. time. We're we're one of the only people that the people that got in it. And then the, we also have two jacuzzi tubs, which have gone through the rest of the ship at the other pools. And like the other pools are packed all the time, even with the little amount of people that are on here. But and I wouldn't say they're packed. They're just they definitely have... it's la they're louder. They're more full. If you've been on a cruise ship and not done something like a yacht club experience, you know how a pool on a cruise ship is like. It's pretty crowded and. And Pretty all, noisy, boisterous kids. There's a lot of kids. And all of the jacuzzi tubs are always filled on the on on the regular levels. So I mean, it's just like you, you basically we get whatever we want here. We've gotten to enjoy the jacuzzi tubs completely by ourselves several times up on the one deck, which is the private pool that's included with the yacht club. So we did stop. So we're supposed to have two stops. One of them got canceled because of I have no idea why actually at this point. I don't even remember. Yeah, I don't remember. But it got canceled. They gave us like a hundred dollar voucher, so we'll just be spending one extra day at sea. But we did stop at MSC's actual private island called Ocean K or Ocean Key. And it, it when we pulled up on it, I thought it would look pretty small. Um, and probably from the video, uh, it looks small. But once you get down on it, it I think it's like a almost like a mile across. I'm not sure. It's definitely no, it's a good size. Far. There's it's, a lot on the island. There is. There's there's a lot like several different beaches. It, it's it's pretty big. Um, Unfortunately, when we got here, it was raining, so we didn't spend a whole lot of time out on the beach. Um, there, there weren't a lot of people that went there, so they didn't have a lot of uh, uh, service out there. So, like, they didn't have lunch for us out there. They didn't have... Basically, all we could do is get drinks and go into the ocean. Um, so we spent, like, a couple hours out there, but really... It was rainy, too, so it yeah. was not a great day to be out there, and... You could tell most most of the guests, I don't even think, really wanted to be out there because it was rainy. So not a great day for that. We spent a couple hours out there. So these are one of the options for the Yacht Club. Uh, they're cabanas. You have to pay a little bit extra for them. They're not included in the uh, cost of the reservations. But basically, you sit here, and on a day like today where it's a little bit rainy, it's kind of nice. And you also have uh, service come up to you. and. They offer you drinks and fruit trays and things like that. We would have jumped on these guys today, but unfortunately uh, we waited too long. We should have done it either before we even got out here or earlier today. We could have done it online, but we, we didn't do it. So now we don't get a cabana and we have to sit out on the beach. It is what it is, but at least there are umbrellas everywhere. So you got that. So we are heading to the private island today, and if you're in Yacht Club, they provide you with these two wristbands, or however many people are in your stateroom. So we have to wear these while we are on the private island. I think it's called Ocean K. We will be allowed to get on certain beach areas, certain beach access, uh, certain restaurants, and service while we're there. So had a few drinks at the private Yacht Club bar. Oh, yeah. Um, and then we headed back on the ship and had lunch on the ship. Yeah, like she said, uh, Yacht Club actually has a private beach there. So there's like four or five beaches on their island that you can, you can, and they also, well, a lagoon in the center of it um, that you can swim in. 
fun. I, I will say though, the bands were extremely hard. That is the biggest complaint that that everybody said. The bl- the bands were terrible as far as like trying to get, to get on. Them on. Yeah, <laughs> like they were actually really neat and high quality, but the whole it's a whole thing. Yeah, just the bands were not great. So if MSC, if you're watching this, then fix your bands. But yeah, so that's that's what we did today. But the private beach for yacht club on Ocean Key was it, we understand or we know it's a, it was a rainy day, so it wasn't very busy to begin with. But when we drove by the public beaches that were not specifically just for yacht club guests, those were much busier, um, just kind of much more boisterous, a lot more kids running around. So if you're looking for a more private, tailored, relaxing experience the yacht club would be the way to go. Now there are kids at the yacht club. Like we've seen We've seen a couple. Yeah. So it's not that like you won't see kids if that's what you're like trying to go for, like an adults only thing. That's not that's not what the light yacht club is. But like me personally, I'm not a big fan of like large crowds. And so this is perfect for me because you kinda like there are the large crowds, there's things to do here, but at the same time you can come back to the yacht club area, which is very, very large in my, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. And in just, just a kinda, few floors. Yeah. And each area for specifically Yacht Club, you have to scan your key card to get in. So basically the other 900, 1,000 passengers on the ship cannot get into the Yacht Club area that has our private pool and our restaurant and the private Yacht Club lounge and um, the Yacht Club rooms. Also, we do actually have our own private elevator. And I, I guess I wouldn't say it's private. Mm-hmm. Um, from what we experienced, like they kind of made it sound like that at first, like, the, like we were the only ones that could ride in it. Like we have to key into it. They, certain elevators only go up to floor 14, and certain elevators go up to 15, 16, 18 that are yacht club, specifically yacht club, club floors. So some of the elevators do not go up to the yacht club floors. There are a lot of other amenities on the ship, like there's a bowling alley, there's sports bar, a piano bar, arcades, things like that that you would expect on any normal cruise ship. There's like a water slide and things like that. And the yacht club guests can participate in all that stuff. It's just you leave the yacht club area to participate in those activities and it's obviously more crowded there's just more people so if you chose to you could completely remain in yacht club your entire stay and not have to ever leave yacht club there's everything that you could need is in the within yacht club we chose to just kind of explore because we like to do some of that stuff and we like to see the other areas but if you if that was your desire you could just completely stay in yacht club overall MSC has done a really good job. They have a lot of cool accents um, that other ships don't have. The Yacht Club has, like, just the rooms are nice. The, like, I mean, I, I know you love the stairs. Like, the stairs were just absolutely... Yeah, the stairs are beautiful. Uh, they're, they're Swarovski crystals inside these stairs, so they're, they're really neat stairs in the Yacht Club. Like, overall, we've been happy. We have one more day here, so we're going to... Did you bring our pillow menu, did they? Oh, no. I'm just curious. That is another thing. We are supposed to have a pillow menu. That is one thing I want to address. There's been things that have been like, we, we looked at it online that said they were included in the package, and they are, but you have to ask. So everything that like they say, like one of the big things for us that we thought was kind of cool that we didn't know if we'd actually use was the pillow menu. We're, where basically you get a list of different pillows to sleep with at night that you can choose what pillow you'd like in terms of firmness and all that. And like he said, we don't, We thought that that would just be something that when we came in, we would have our pillow menu, but it's not. You had to ask for it. So we started to realize that, yes, basically all these things we read about are completely doable. They will do that for you, but a lot of them you do have to ask for. So basically don't be shy about asking. We Our our butler came in one day and we said, hey, do you have a pillow menu? And he was like, oh, yeah, I'll bring you one. So they're very accommodating. They're very willing to basically do whatever to make you feel comfortable um but a lot of it you just have to ask for our friends who are here with us sam and drew sam ordered a sangria earlier and they said oh unfortunately we don't have sangria but let me let me see what i can do for you and she said they cut up fresh fruit they asked her what type of wine she wanted they basically made her a sangria just in her own cup from scratch in the back just because she had asked for one. So a lot of things that they might not have, they're willing to do whatever they can to accommodate you basically, at least within Yacht Club is what we've seen. And they do feed you alcohol. Like (laughs) they are very... And our friends who've been on probably about 20 cruises said that 
that no cruise line they've been on has been so ready to offer you alcohol as MSC has been. And they will, if you have a wine glass, if it gets low, they're coming over and they're refilling it and they're refilling it. If you're drinking tequila, once your tequila is gone, they're bringing you a new one. They're just, they're keeping you loaded up. And I mean, you can obviously tell them like, no more, I'm okay. But they're very, very friendly, very, you're on vacation, have another one. So they definitely want you to have a good time and they're definitely not, definitely spare no expense when it comes to the alcohol that they're giving you. So on the first day that we arrived in our room, our butler knocked on the door and came in and told us that everyone in Yacht Club gets their choice of one bottle of alcohol. We chose a Moscato. When we came in after dinner, he had put our bottle here. We also were able to choose from, you know, a bottle of whiskey, a bottle of rum, a bottle of vodka, but we just happened to choose a bottle of wine. But that was kind of a nice touch that you get to choose a bottle of your choice of alcohol. The, that's the other thing with the butlers. They get to know you. So like, I, I'm a big Crown and Coke fan. So one of our butlers, Justin, he was serving, he's, he served us the first day that we got here and I ordered a Crown and Coke. And then after that, it's almost like he, rem he, he did, he remembered. So every time I would come out and be like, Hey, you want another Crown and Coke? Like two, like two days after that, just because like you get, you get that kind of relationship in the yacht club because you know, the bartenders know you, the butlers know you, everybody knows. There's fewer people. Yeah. So everybody knows you and have seen you. So it's easier for them to remember like, oh yeah, he likes this or, oh yeah, she likes that. So they take care of you. Really they, well. they really take care of you. They're pretty good about that. But yeah, that's, that's it for right now. Uh, we got I'm one. sure we'll add more later. <laughs> we we got another day here, so we're about to go to dinner right now. So you've seen everything that's happened in the first two days that we've been on the ship. Um, I don't know how much more we'll get in the next day because we're out at sea. Overall, our opinion of MSC is ship's beautiful, service has been wonderful, people have been friendly for the most part, not crowded. And as far as yacht club, if you have the opportunity to do it, I would highly suggest doing it because this has been a a wonderful experience for us so far. We um, we felt very taken care of. We felt um, like our space was very private. We felt like it was a very it's been an enjoy very enjoyable experience for us so far. Highly highly recommend it. Yeah, but yeah. I hope this uh, this video was informative for you guys. I hope you you got something out of it. If you have any questions about uh, what we experienced or anything like that, hit us up in the comments and we'll be happy to answer any questions you might have. But we're gonna try and enjoy our last day here and you know just kind of hang out. Till next time, I'm Lane from Makers Lane. I'm Jess from Makers Lane. Have a good one. Bye.